Yeah, no, I have a girlfriend. Um, she's uh, she be, was one of my fr- best friends for a while out here, and then uh, we started dating a couple months back. And she's awesome. It's the first time I've dated someone who I was like best friends with before, and it's it's awesome. She makes me really happy. She actually gave me this necklace. It has Curious George on it. I'm really into monkeys. And then on the back it says it's a, it's a song I wrote for my grandma when she passed. It's called. It says, uh, "Baby, we all run out of time. You've just got to love yours as much as I've loved mine." So she's awesome, and and I think it's you know. It's just like the song says, we're nothing without love. I really believe in, in romance and love and all that good stuff, that gushy stuff. I play ukulele, piano, a little bit of guitar, and I started off with African drums when I was little. Um, I was in a West African uh, drumming company in upstate New York, and, and I was the only like little white guy doing it, and, and I've always loved it. And yeah, those are the instruments I play. I saw my first Broadway show when I was four. Um, I saw The Lion King and uh, Beauty and the Beast on Broadway, Beauty and the Beast first and The Lion King. And I got home from each of those shows and I reenacted the entire show on my living room table for my parents. And I kind of knew, like, I had kind of, like, had the bug from there. And I started doing regional musical theater and and uh, and I just kept going. And then I really knew I wanted to do it professionally uh, when I hit high school. I was living in upstate uh, Woodstock. I was from Manhattan. And I told my parents I wanted to move back to Manhattan to uh, attend performing arts school and I got my first job when I was 16 on Broadway, and, and I've been working ever since and been really been really grateful and lucky for all the stuff I've been able to do. A lot of, like, a lot of curse. I love Fall Out Boy, and I love Justin Timberlake and Michael Jackson, all this stuff. That definitely plays a lot. Definitely some, like, old-school African drumming songs and things like that. Uh, also, a lot of musical theater stuff, because I did a lot of musical theater. So, like, I'll put it on shuffle, and, like, random show pops up where people are like, huh? And you're like, okay, what was that? I'd say the ba- one of the biggest moments early on was um, when I did um, the Dolce & Gabbana ad campaign with Madonna. It was, it was, um, it was a surreal moment. I can't believe that day happened. Every every time I tell the story, I'm like, whoa, that really, that's a real story. That's crazy. Um, and so, yeah, I think that was a that was a moment for me where I was like, wow, that was that was nuts. Before I booked this show on Broadway called 13, um, I went in for the final reading. It was my first like big final callback, and it was just me and about like four other guys left for the part, and uh, and I didn't get it. They like they cut me at the very end, and I got home and I cried, and you know I was really sad about it. I had been auditioning for a while, and you know I that was a big moment for me realizing that you know what those guys doing that part that it's their time to do that, and I'm happy for them. And that was a really hard thing for me to accept and for me to continue to to use in my everyday life, just realizing that if you don't get something, it's all right. You'll get something else. Everything happens for a reason. I would have to say that when I was little, I always had this this want. When I was like six years old, I had this dream of being a preschool teacher and then an investment banker because I believed that like investment bankers weren't taken seriously till they were like a little older like in their 30s or 40s so i'd start off i love little kids and like hanging out preschool teacher boom boom i'd like get to do that and then i could like you know study up on my investment banking and and do that i don't really know where that came from the combination and stuff but i always love taking care of my little cousins and stuff so i just figured like cool i'll like do this and then i'll do that so yeah Believe in yourself and and always work your hardest. Um, I think, like I said before, there's so much rejection in so many places and so many people who are just going to tell you you can't do it. You know, they'll tell you you have to choose between this or this. And in my experience, you know, people have always said, like, you can't act and sing and, and do these. You have to choose. But for me, I love doing all of them. And I really believe that if, if you really work your hardest and do your most, you can do anything you want. I think there's so many great people out there like Steve Martin, who has an amazing comedy career. My mom loves him. And, uh, and he plays banjo. He sings. There's so many people out there that, you know, if you love doing it, doing your own thing and, and show the world that you can you can make what you want to do, you know? Make it on your own, rather. That's that's the that's the way I think uh, I think about it. Ah. I'm breaking in and shaping up, checking out all these prison bites. But this is in the apocalypse. Oh, I'm waking up. I've been